Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skiver and I'm here today to show you everything that's new in Construct 3 release 234. We have a great new release for you today. Uh, first up, I'm just going to very quickly show you, there's uh, 20 new example projects you can find in the start page. Uh, here's one, a ceiling trap for a platformer. Um, let's have another, fire bars for a platformer again. Um, they're spread across all these categories. Have a look through the start page and check out those new example projects. They show all sorts of game mechanics and interesting things you can do in Construct. Next up, uh, a really cool new feature I want to show you is the Mesh Editor. So we previously released the Mesh Distortion feature, which worked at runtime, and now you can set up meshes in the editor itself. So I'm just going to show you a super quick example. I'm going to, in the layout view, choose Create Mesh on the tiled background here. And I'm just going to create a 9 by 2 mesh, uh, which splits up this tiled background. And you can see now I can move all these points around. Uh, I'll just, um, I'm not really trying to do anything in particular here. I'm just want to demonstrate how it works. Um, and so you can see um, this tiled background has now got a mesh. And if I preview the project, the uh, as before, uh, meshes affect the collisions of the object. And so now the platform behavior can run along this uh, altered um, platform. So I think this is a really awesome new capability for your level designs, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. It's uh, the editor complement to the mesh distortion feature, um, and it's great to see that. Next up, we've made further improvements to the scene graph feature, also known as hierarchies, um, and a significant new update. Um, here's the skeleton uh, hierarchy I've used previously. Um, and a significant new update is the create with hierarchy action. This makes it easy to create entire hierarchies at runtime. So here I've got an event which says on any touch start, which will include mouse clicks, um, it will create the uh, body object. And this is the new parameter here, create hierarchy is enabled. And that means it will create all the child uh, sprites attached to the body. And if we look in the layout view, you can see the body is uh, what we call the root instance uh, because all other parts of the hierarchy are ultimately connected to that one. That one. It's, the, um, it's the top of the hierarchy, if you like. And so now if I um, preview this, when I click, that single action creates the entire hierarchy, uh, which is great for sort of stamping out uh, clones of your entire hierarchy at runtime. There's also another new uh, feature in the editor, for, which is useful for editing scene graphs. And um, again, this applies to the root instance. And in the hierarchy section, new section in the properties bar, there's a new select mode. So normally you can select everything independently. If you change the select mode to all, it will select all of the objects in the hierarchy in one go. And you can see you can conveniently uh, move them all as one and you can also alt and click to skip that and there's also the wrap selection mode which does select all and then wrap selection which allows you to um, move, uh, rotate and resize all the objects as if they're one so you can treat the whole hierarchy much like it's more um, much more like it's a single object it's very similar to the select mode for containers but applying to hierarchies so that should come in very handy for using scene graphs in the editor Finally, the only other thing I'm going to cover in this video is if you use the JavaScript coding feature, uh, we have a big new update for that. And that's the new ability to use JavaScript modules. So modules are the modern way of writing JavaScript code. Um, the old way is called classic mode. And the new way involves using import statements, as you can see here. This is the JavaScript code version of the ghost shooter template. And I'm just demonstrating how you can use the uh, um, import statement in your code. Oh dear, go away. <laughs> and uh, so modules allow you to write every JavaScript file as its own self-contained module and you can import and export uh, a clean sort of interface between modules. It's uh, a much more organized way of writing your code. We also have a tutorial um, about upgrading old classic mode scripts to modules uh, which will be linked in the release notes and in the comments of this video. Uh, so you can have a look at that if you are interested in moving over to modules, which you should do because at some point we will retire the old classic mode. Um, so you should start moving over to using modules soon. Um, <clears throat> as I was just showing you there, that's the go shooter code in uh, example. 
and all the other examples here have all also been updated to use the new JavaScript modules. So you can find lots more examples of how modules work across all of these examples here. As ever, there's lots more changes and improvements that we've made in the intervening beta releases. Uh, see the full release notes if you want the full rundown. This is just a few of the highlights for this video, and uh, we hope you enjoy using Construct.